Hi, this is Devin from Angry Squirrel Computers and Graphics. Today I'm going to be disassembling this HP laptop. As you can see, the customer brought this in with a failed CPU fan. And I'm just going to show you how simple and easy this can be if one ever happens to fail on you. So let's get started. As you can see, this is just a standard HP TouchSmart laptop. And I'm going to point to it right here so we can zoom in on this. This is a model 15-B129WM laptop. Now, anything in the 15B series should be very similar to disassemble, but if there's ever a question, all you gotta do is just feel free to post a comment and I'll get back to you on that. So, let's get started. I'm gonna pull up the chair, and as always, I have my electrostatic mat on top of the table that is fully discharged and grounded so that we don't fry or hurt the electrical components on this system. So, first thing we do, at, like normal, simply take the battery out. Hold the power button down for at least 10 seconds to fully discharge all power from the system. Obviously, any part of your body, you can use a wrist strap, or you can use any part of your body touching the electrostatic mat so that you know that you're not discharging any static electricity into the system. And that's about 10 seconds right there. Now we're gonna flip this around. And there's, oh, before I start, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 screws. So, it, like I said, it's not that difficult to get this one disassembled and I'm using my little magnet on a little uh, screw here to get the screws to hold so it doesn't come falling on the floor or someplace else on the mat. And I am lining up these screws in the order that I replace or uh, remove them on the mat so I know exactly where they go, as you can see from the video. And for the sake of uh, convenience, we are not going to speed up the screw process on this because, like I said, there's only 11 screws. I'm doing this fairly quickly. And this is all going to be done in real time. I know in my other video for that ASUS battery removal, that one was a pain just to remove the battery and uh, on this one it's more of a standard laptop where you can just remove the screws and uh, get to it. The battery was took two seconds, all two seconds to remove. So all the screws are now out, giving it a double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, the eleven screws all removed. Now simply Grab your uh, Phillips head that you used. These two hole points here and here is the pressure points to push against the keyboard gently, of course, to remove the keyboard. So just simply press up from the bottom, and as you can see, the keyboard is uh, being raised up just a little bit. And then gently start at the edges, and do not rip the keyboard completely off. If you do that, you will damage the ribbon cable that it's attached to on the motherboard. As you can see, I gently flipped it over. And this is the main focal point. You lift up on both sides gently because this flip top is easily damaged. Okay, see what I did there? It just lifted up without removing it, breaking it, because if this thing gets removed, you are in for a world of trouble because these things to put back on with super glue or another little flip top latch, it's dang near impossible. So now we have one, two, three, four, five screws holding down the keyboard lid. So let's just do this real fast. One, two, three, four, 
four. Five. There's two latches, one for the power button, which goes underneath the, uh, the power button here and angles to the right. Gently lift that latch to release and then use the blue strip to pull gently out of the connector right there. As you can see, that's number one. Again, gently lift this touchpad latch right there because you do not want to break these and pull it out, okay? Voila, we are now ready to take the lid off. Now, it would be helpful if you had like a guitar pick or one of the, this came from an uh, iPhone disassembly removal kit. Um, simply, all you gotta do is just start at a corner and I will do it like this so that you can actually see it in action. I'll stand up, use your fingertip to start a wedge and then gently use the guitar pick. You heard the first click, that's the latches starting to get removed and just simply go down all the way to the bottom and then work your way around to the sides as you can see. Okay, same thing here on the other side there we go and then just lift this gently out and now you have the motherboard exposed now this is the CPU fan here's the customer CPU I already replaced this fan but this is the actual uh, replacement CPU that I've already got installed. This is the original. All you have to do is remove two screws, and all you have to do is simply unhook the case fan, CPU fan, from the motherboard using your thumb and forefinger. Gently wiggle it out. It's in there, you know, fairly tight, but it will come out, as you can see. Then, there's two screws holding the CPU fan in. There's number one. There's number two. And all it takes is just holding the little wire. And it, there you go, it's removed. Now, if you want to remove the hard drive, you're gonna have to do it this way. You're gonna have to disassemble the front lid to get to the hard drive, and it's being held by four screws right here. That's to get to the hard drive. Uh, you, if you want to replace the motherboard, it's real simple. Unlatch the ribbon cable that goes through the USB port, HDMI port right there. And you want to obviously uh, remove the uh, LCD screen cable here and the wireless cables here. And of course, the speaker wire cable that goes into the motherboard there. And uh, pretty much unscrew at the points here at this arrow here at this arrow, there at that arrow. There are three screws holding it down. Of course, the hard drive will be removed. And those are the other two screws, but once you remove the hard drive, you should be okay. So other than that, that's it. All you gotta do is, is uh, just put the fan back in and screw everything back in in reverse, and you're good to go. If you have any questions, just feel free to leave a post a comment. And if I helped you, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.